everyone, Christina here from Sheridan Art and Designs, and today I'm going to be doing our Rumpel Still Skin makeup trial. Um, obviously, my model is not here. Uh, I did try it on him when I saw him last um, with just makeup, but I wasn't quite getting the effect I wanted. Um, you don't quite get the like scaliness of it um, just with makeup, so I've decided to add some uh, clear liquid latex um, as a base and then uh, put makeup over the top of that. And you can see I've kind of done a, a swatch on my hand here to test it all out. I know I actually tested something before I did it on camera. It's crazy, I know. Um, but I did a test here um, and got kind of the texture that I wanted. So um, I think we're good with this and I'll show you how I did it. I'm gonna do just a quick um, full face. I did my best beachy rumple wave for you guys in my hair. Um, you can see this is our inspo pick. Um, I'll throw it up on screen too, but I, I don't want to, I'm kind of going for that middle age rumple where he wasn't all gold on his face, but he just kind of was patchy still. So before he fully went gold. So we're just going to do a few kind of patches with the liquid latex um, and then cover that with um, some highlighter, some gold eyeshadow, and a mix of um, some yellow green makeup because his skin is pretty sallow and it has a little bit of a green tint to it. So I'm gonna do a, a few mix of things um, for that. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do is put the a few coats of this liquid latex on in the areas that I want kind of that scaly look. Um, and I'll flip over to time-lapse so you guys don't have to like literally watch paint dry. Um, that's what I'll do first and then I'll come back for the next step, okay? Okay, so you can see I got these patches on and I kind of just scratched them up to make them look kind of bubbly and a little bit scaly. Um, they'll probably come up a little bit more as I'm applying like layers of makeup on, but I just did a patch on my forehead, a patch that kind of comes across over my nose and then a patch down here. Like I said, I don't want the full scale makeup. I'm going for kind of that patchy look where he's still kind of turning into the bad Rumpelstiltskin. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna take my Ben Nye uh, this is the dead palette, I think. Yeah, death palette. And um, I'm just going to add a, a tiny little bit of this yellow and a l tiny bit of this green over those patches because, like I said, if you look at his skin, it's pretty sallow and there's like a little tinge of green, but these are super um, opaque. So I'm just going to try and uh, do like a, a light layer of them. They are water activated, so you have to add a little bit of water into the palette to get them on your sponge or just, you know, use a damp sponge. And then I'm just gonna go in just on the parts where we did the liquid latex for this. To add a little bit of yellow. And then the same, I'm gonna do the same with the green. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit. Just so we're mixing in the skin tone a little bit. Cause I'm gonna go over this all with my foundation too. Yeah, see, that's just a little too much. It's not really scaly, no, it's just looking like skin removal, so. I'm just gonna peel that off. Okay, just a, a tinge of green, because it looks like he's turning into a crocodile, right? Like Hook calls him in the, sh in the show. So, I'm gonna go a little green. Just so we build up those different kind of layers. Let's see that. 
Okay. Rumple is all about the layers. So getting um, the right combination of layers for the makeup on him is, is gonna be an interesting one. So I'm gonna go in with just my Tarte concealer um, for my under eyes, and then I'm going to give it a good uh, once over with my foundation, kind of even out the skin tone. It, obviously these patches won't be the same color as everything else, and that's good, right? You want kind of like skin tone in some areas and then really kind of these poppy gold scaly bits in other areas. Rumpel is kind of the most fun makeup to do because it's not just like a beauty look. It's kind of a, it's a, like you have to blend. Well, I don't know how they did it on the show, but the way I'm doing it is you're blending kind of natural, like the no makeup look with like some special effects stuff, um, which is really fun for me. Um, I haven't gotten to do a whole lot of special effects makeup in general, so this as a first stab is kind of fun. Because you can kind of make it, you know, as scaly and gross as you want, and then you can back it off and just do makeup if you want uh, for yours. But I think if you're gonna do it, might as well have fun. I'm trying not to drag my brush across where the areas where I did liquid latex because I don't want it to pull off too much. And it, if you don't know liquid latex, it kind of feels like Elmer's glue and it peels a lot like Elmer's glue if you were to put like a layer of it over the top of your skin. So um, so it's not harsh or anything. It's, it's pretty easy to to work with and like the more layers you add to it the more like you can do like peeling desiccated skin or um you know scars or things like that you could do a, a bunch of different makeups with it okay so hopefully this is reading on camera but in real life <laughs> it looks pretty natural now um but you can still see some greens and yellows in these areas so we're gonna start adding um, some gold, but first I do wanna put a little bit of um, just some bronzer um, on some areas so I don't look super pale. Cause he does look, you know, kind of his normal colors, but I'm just gonna put, you know, a little bit on so it's not such a stark contrast. And we'll see if I can get away with that when I put this on my model. He might be like, no, <laughs> that's okay. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is um, this ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow. It's this bright gold color. Um, and I'm just gonna put that kind of in these areas where we know that we want it to be like super gold um, on his like scaly bits, right? Cause he turns more gold on those scaly bits. So I'm just gonna take a little sponge and pat that in. It's really super pigmented. So it'll give you that really good gold payoff. And then I'm gonna get the rest of it from um, my highlighter palette actually, because that'll give us um, a good amount of gold that can kind of be spread around. See these little sections that are just like coming off too much? I don't want like hanging skin, right? Cause he's more scaly. So if, it, if it's coming off that way, I just wanna put it back on or peel that section off.
And because gold is like kind of, is really yellow, it's also gonna help add to that kind of sallow look too. It's not gonna like pink out my cheeks or anything. Ooh, a little chunk of that just fell on my jeans and now I have really glittery jeans. That's okay. Okay. Um, so now I have that on. The next thing, I'm actually gonna use this Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice highlighter palette that I got, um, but it has three different colors of highlighter. Um, so I'm gonna use this one and then the bottom one as well, just to uh, get the effect I'm looking for. This one's a little more gold. This one has kind of a, I guess, peachy look to it. Um, so I'm gonna use one kind of on my face and then one to really highlight these sections. Um, so I'm gonna go with the peachy one, kind of just all over on my face. And these, like, are crazy good highlighters. <laughs> they give you a lot, like a lot goes a long way. So, you know, which is really good for this look, but in normal life, just be aware. <laughs> if you're using them, they are gonna make you really glow. But obviously Rumpel does glow, so we're gonna want You kind of want that like shininess. I'm not gonna shy away from it on him. I'm actually gonna kind of put it, you know, places you wouldn't normally put highlighter, but he does have a, have a shininess to him. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this more goldy look and go over this these like areas. Cause you do want them to, you want them to stand out, but the edges you wanna kind of blend, right? So. out in the sun with this and I'll be downright glittery. All right. And he doesn't really have any other, like they didn't eyeshadow his eyes or anything really. It's really just this look. Um, if you wanted to, like if you were gonna do a gender bend on Rumpel and ads and you know, do a more feminine eye, you definitely could add some like, I guess he does have some darker browns. So let's add a little bit of darker brown into the eye and then see, okay. So I'm gonna go to my ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. And let's see, let's go with, hmm, maybe Fickle Fate down here. That's a pretty good color. And just come in and kind of shadow in my eyes a little bit. You don't want to do this with too much finesse because he obviously is not going to like have a smoky eye. <laughs> but to darken out your eyes is a good idea because it does also add to kind of that like sunken sallow kind of almost like, he almost looks dead, but you know, he's obviously not, but he has those same greens in his undertone.
And then I might just take um, Drama Mama, this like slightly darker brown, just to kind of go right on my lash line here. Blend it in. Just to make that little area just slightly darker than the rest. hooded eyes just like me so you can't tell quite like you know what is crazy going on with the eyelids but it does look darker so yeah there we go that's kind of fun all right kind of like the level of gold we got going on it's really shining in the light which is cool Yeah, I think we're pretty close. You look pretty close. Um, he obviously has a little bit more green, but I think we're gonna keep it there. I have really rosy undertones, so to sallow me out would take a lot. Um, but my model has more yellow undertones, so it won't take very much. But I think that is looking pretty good. With my beach wavy hair, which is very voluminous today. So what do you guys think? I can't wait to put these all together and for you guys to see them. Tune in, I think next week and we will have um, our final looks put together. All right guys, I will see you guys later.